And we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather here this morning, as God's family, with confidence, we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of his mercy and of his compassion. Lord, you are the way, the life, and the truth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow us. Make us always determined to carry out your words. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise if, in fact, the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee, from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings but I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, Lord when your glory appears, my glory will be full. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, you, Lord. to you, Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. And accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chuzah 
and Susanna and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're told that with many others who provided for them out of their resources. Surely the Son of God, God himself, could have taken care of himself. Many others who provided for them out of their resources. If Jesus needed the service of others, we who are his disciples or followers certainly need the services of others as well. We are called to be a service to one another. Not servants, not slaves, but a service of time and energy, of love and compassion, of words of hope and inspiration. We are called to be of service to one another and to allow ourselves to be served by those around us. Paul has been stressing this past week in his letter to the Corinthians our interpersonal connection to each other, that we are connected to each other as the body of Christ. So how are we doing with our service to others? How are we doing with our generosity, with our time and talent, time and energy? And are we humble enough to allow those around us to serve us as well? To acknowledge that maybe we don't have it all put together, that we don't have everything within ourselves, that we truly need to be dependent upon one another. Paul tells the Corinthians, and I think our pandemic tells us today very clearly, how we can be of generous to one another and how we need to be humble enough to allow those around us to serve. And I invite you to stand. Together now we make known our needs and our desires to our loving and compassionate Father. Let's pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them let us pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world. It's an end to war, terrorism, and racism. For this let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray that we may be generous of heart with our energy and our words of service to one another, be humble enough to acknowledge our need for one another in our lives. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the end to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound, and all those entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all those who have died, those who have died today, and particularly those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And let us take a moment and silently pray for our own intentions. And we pray for all our intentions, including the intentions for Chrysostomo Ariandia, and Teresita Apostol, and Ronald Regan. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we make known to our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud and those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, blessed be God forever. And blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, blessed be God, God forever.
Grant my sisters and brothers that my sacrifice on your, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the Lord has come to sacrifice on for the praise and glory of Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faith, with the sacrificial offering, that through these, the acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and good. It is almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed give praise to you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we now acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. <coughs> and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus comes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the hope of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
but not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant to peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you have been reigned forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sin of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And I invite you to be seated at this time. And again, we'll begin over here. In the first position, we'll go to the back. I'll ask Vincent to wait so everybody in this section is back in their spots. That way we don't crowd each other. And then Vincent will come forward. We'll take the back row all the way to Bill. And then come across to the third line, second line, and the first line. Sanitizing your hands, extending your hands. Demasking, consuming, remasking, and returning to your staff. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Not yet. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. 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 The 
Mario. The Mario Kart. The Mario Kart. The Mario Kart. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Oh God, I'll take care. The body of Christ. And let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us shares of his divine nature. For he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And I remind you that you exit through the gates behind you there, keep you the proper social distancing. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy this fresh air for the, as long as it lasts. And I thank you all for coming today. And may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Master this morning has come to us, then may we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to you, God. God. Have a wonderful day. You too, Father.